Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to Naruto Chapter 660 review. Now, today is Christmas Day, and I don't have, like, an elf hat thingy. So what I'm going to do is I'll make this Christmas a lot more colorful. And if you got a problem with this, I don't really care. I just don't. But I do me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, looking real good. Okay, now that being said, this week's chapter of Naruto. Oh, by the way, hold on, hold on. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, enjoy yourself. I need to be somewhere in a few minutes, so I need to do like mock rush reviews today. So I apologize. And I don't know what time I'm going to be back. I want to do the reviews while the sun is shining upon me. Like I'm Jesus. So that being said. So, speaking of Jesus. <coughs> Madara. <coughs> that's the day we celebrate today. The day of Madara Uchiha. You got a problem with that? Now. Well maybe some of you guys do. All right? I don't really care. Here's the thing. Because I do get a few PMs about, yeah, oh, you like oh, Jesus and you like the day. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm agnostic, so move on. Now, this week's shot of Naruto is actually mainly a flashback of the Shikaku, which. Like, it was so unnecessary. Uh, that's my personal take. But I felt that the flashback of the Shikaku was unnecessary in the sense that it was probably mainly just there to prolong the chapter, therefore prolong the series. Like, you feel me? Now, there is one important thing in the, in the flashback that I'll... And, and it's important in the sense that it may mean something in the greater sense of understanding who you really are as an individual. And I have it right here on my iPad... So here it is, right here. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying I got it. So I, I've been at it, but whatever. Right here, it's the part where the old man is talking about the reflection. And he, and he says this, and I quote, When you see a reflection on the, on the surface of water, there's an obvious side and a concealed side. This is akin to the human heart. Oftentimes, words are uttered that stand directly opposite to what the heart is feeling. I believe in spite of whatever harsh words are spoken, the concealed heart secretly wants to embrace everyone. Now, see, that it actually has a lot, of, it has a deeper meaning, it really does. Because, well, in of itself, it is deep. But it is deeper in the sense of when you apply it to a real world scheme, despite the fact that we engage a lot of wars, despite the fact that we do a lot of in, you know inhumane things to one another, despite the fact that throughout humans, throughout human history we have done all these things that when you look back upon them you would find them atrocious to one another at the end of the day all we really want when it comes to our fellow humans despite the difference of skin despite the difference of ideology all we really want at the end of the day is to embrace our fellow human is to embrace our fellow man and woman and I like that. I do. I really do. That's the most important part in that flashback. Right there. And that's how I perceive it. I mean, you can perceive it a different way. Fine, by all means. But that's how I perceive it. But that being said, we move on. The chapter after that <laughs> is pretty much moderate time. After the flashback, it's, 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 it's moderate time. And it's been his time for... How many weeks now? And I'm liking these weeks. But here's the thing. Uchiha Madara. He's gunning for the tail beast. And he decides to go. He wants to, for the sake of efficiency, he's going to go for the for the one tail first. The raccoon. And of course, we all know the raccoon, then the cat, then the weird turtle thing, and then the monkey, then the weird horse horned fairy well, I don't know what it is alright the five tail Han I don't know what the thing is whatever and then we go from the slug then the bug then the ox then finally the fox so 
The thing here is that he wants to do in that order for the sake of for the sake of efficiency. And the thing here, because maybe like the Juby, or maybe like once the Ghetto Mazel takes it in in that order, it'll reach its full potential, or it'll be close to its full potential because it is still lacking the other half of the QB's chakra, the yin side. But the thing here is that Madara is having an issue with mainly Gara and Naruto. Killer B, he's on his face down. And we did see him do something. I don't know if it was either the Hachi B or his Killer B controlling the Hachi B. But I believe that one of the tails, I'm gonna assume that it was the Hachi B. That the Hachi B cut off one of the tails deliberately because Killer B may be hitting that tail. So Killer B won't die because Killer B would have some eight tails chakra there from that tail. That's what I'm assuming. But I could be wrong about that. I'm not too sure. But we move on. The thing here is that Gar does like, these giant hands to you know to stop the chains. And Madara pulls something I he pulls something I've never ever ever dreamed about doing. Or I've never dreamed the Susano could do. There we go. The Susano throws one of its spears, and the Shikaku blocks it from hitting Gara. Madara, either it was with either it was the Susano technique itself or it was a Rinnegan technique. He controls the thrown spear to fly around to cut off the sand hands that were on the chains and to strike at Gara. Yo, Madara! Yo, Madara! Yes, man, I told you. This is Madara's time. If you don't like Madara's time, he gives you a giant middle finger. With some emphasis. Proud. Proudly. And he's like, listen, he's doing what Toby did. It took him almost the entire series of Shippuden. It took him almost a majority of the of the time skip to gather all the tail beasts and take them in. And even then, he was lacking two. Madara's doing what he couldn't do in less than a few chapters. In less than five chapters. Let's assume in five chapters, give or take. But either way, less time overall. This goes to show you how shitty Obito is and how awesome Madara is. Madara, he's a king on a throne. And Obito is the jester. Madara sits back, sipping on some tea. Play for me, Jester. Play. Obito, yes. My name is Toby. Fuck out of it. All right, Madara, awesome. And now he's bringing, he's even bringing the Nine Tail Fox. Now, mind you, they're in mid-flight. All right, they're in mid-flight. They may get cut off because I'm starting to wonder where the hell is Toby Rama, where the hell is Ryuzen, where the hell is Orochimaru, where the frick are the Kages? Where is Raikage? Where is Onoki? Tsunade, you suck, but where are you? Seriously, like, where are these people where the Madara is having a field day right now, man? All he needs is a basket, some sandwiches, and a damn mat. And it'd be a picnic. This dude is enjoying himself. He's like, I got this. And he's talking to this other Zetsu in the meantime. He's like, yo, man, what do you want? Do you want a, a tuna sandwich or do you want ham? He Seriously. Like, that's how beastly he is right now. He's doing all this so casual. And he only has one Rinny gun. If he gets the other one, it's over. If he gets the other Rinny gun and he absorbs the... He absorbs all the tail... Well, he absorbs the Ghetto Mazo that has all of these uh, Bijou Chakras inside of them, including half of the Nine Tails Chakra, which means a more powerful... A more powerful... Juby, therefore more powerful Shinju, therefore more powerful Mock Sage. I don't see how they can beat him. He's going to activate the Infinite Tsukiyomi 
And the point at this well at that point in time, it will be kind of like trying to break out of Ivan Sugiyomi. Because if Maru succeeds, no one can beat him. There's no one there that can beat him. There are no more plays. What other plays could possibly exist where you can stop a more powerful mock sage? One that isn't bound by the will of fire, the will of lick. No. No, 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 it's over. If it took you home, and plus, the Shinju was already like, what, two or three minutes into the process of opening its eye? So Madara, in a powerful state, he can do it in like a few seconds. In comes Infinite Tsukiyomi, and then in comes the illusion. They're all trapped in this world. And then, of course, we can see Kakashi, not Kakashi. Oh, yeah, Kakashi. No, 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 not him. Sasuke and Naruto. Those two are going to break out. Those two. They're, they're, they're going to find each other in, like, the illusion world. They're going to hold hands. Like, they're going to they're do that. Hold on. They're going to do that one thing where they did, like, in the, uh, when they did that whole Rasengan and Chidori clash in the Valley of the End. They did this thing when they were kids. They're going to do that. And then they're gonna break the illusion. Yeah, I call it. Oh my god, if that happens, me, King of Lightning. Me, me. But all I wanna see is Mara do the infant Yomi. If you can do that, I am so satisfied. I, I am more satisfied than having three orgasms. Seriously. Alright, but I'm done. The chaptering overall, the flashback took up the majority of the chapter, and I didn't really like that because the flashback in, in, in of itself. Wasn't really that important, aside from more... Basically, it was more Shikaku development, like, before he gets sucked in, pretty much. And Krama did say something to Gara, so they maybe have a backup plan in case of, uh... He gets sucked inside Madara. Maybe, the, maybe something to do with Minato, maybe the Naruto Fox left Gara some chakra so Naruto wouldn't die, I, I don't know. But either way, we'll see what happens. But the flashback took a, a majority of the chapter, and I'm not a fan of that. And what I can say is that I, I am a fan of Maru doing, like, crazy stuff, because he's Maru Uchiha. That's the way it is. So I'm done. The chaptering overall, I'm going to give a chapter rating of good plus, and I will see you guys later. Be sure to, of course, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. Have a very colorful Christmas.